What you're about to watch is a news parody. Its stories are not fact-checked, its reporters are not real journalists, and its opinions are not fully thought through. USD and other college esports teams are adding Wordle as the newest game to their library. Wordle is a New York Times game in which players try to guess a random five-letter word in six tries. Sander Holes in charge of the team that tr that's training to compete in tournaments beginning at the end of finals week. So we've been playing Wordle Unlimited for about two to three hours a day to just kind of like train for this event because the news about this came out about two days ago. Um. Hole was disqualified from the contest by the competition committee whose members said he'd be a quote cheat code. USD Esports will play in the Wordle Nationals on May 4th in New York. Along with Wordle, Esports has added another game to their roster. The Red Report's Alex Kleinschmidt is live in the Esports arena to learn more about the new league. Alex? Thank you. I'm here with Cooking Mama expert Michael Wingate. So Michael, what led you to bring Cooking Mama to the Esports arena? Uh, I'm going to be honest with you, all personal bias. No one really wanted Cooking Mama. Um, but I mean, at the end of the day, I'm the GA right now, so I kind of make the shots. And so I decided to bring Cooking Mama because it's the best game, best game out right now. Um, it's a killer game. Have you, uh, have you played Cooking Mama yourself? Uh, once or twice. Once or twice. Well, I'll have you know the arena is a great place to keep playing Cooking Mama, but yeah, recently they just dropped Fortnite Mama. Pretty good game. Um, they're going to drop a new DLC that's going to have Rick and Morty in it, and I think that's pretty cool. Uh, big Rick and Morty guy. Um, but yeah, I've been playing Cooking Mama since I was two. Uh, my, I just seen the game running when my mom was AFK because she's a big Cooking Mama fan too. And I just, I just crawled up there. I started gaming. And let me tell you, I was on top. World record right there. Not a lot of players at the time. Cooking Mama's grown a lot since uh, I was two. I think it's been like 20 years now. So I'm glad to see the fan base really grow. Of course. What's your favorite recipe to make in the game? Um, I'd have to say the pizza. It's just a standard. It's my favorite dish IRL. So getting to make that in game just makes my mouth salivate. I'm just like, dang, man, that's a good pizza. That's a good pizza. And I make a killer cooking mama pizza. Um, it's just one of the best pizzas you've ever seen. I, I got to show you after this. So what are the highest stakes that you can face while playing this game? Uh, there's 2v2 tournaments, 3v3 tournaments, and 5v5s. Um, I personally don't do the 5v5s. I think it's really unbalanced. 3v3 is like a good middle ground between the two. Um, it really gets you to show your true dishes, your true colors. Um, it's just the perfect amount of like competitive skill level and matchmaking. All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. Live in the eSports arena for the Red Report, I'm Alex Kleinschmidt. Thanks, Alex. Wingate says there are even talks of making an eSports league for Grand Theft Auto.